Okay, so in this video, we will solve problem 9b from problem sheet number 5. If you recall, from a deck of 52 cards, 5 cards are chosen at random, and we want to count the total number of possible hands of 5 cards with no pairs. As always, let's start by laying down all possible 52 cards. So we will first break them down in terms of their suits. So we have the cards of hearts, then spades, uh, diamonds, then clubs, and spades. And for each of the four suits, we have 13 cards. We'll start thinking of a hand of poker. We'll start with the ace as the strongest card, then the king, queen, jack, ten, down to two, and then the same thing goes for every other suit. As we've just said, there are four different suits. For each suit, there are 13 different cards, which gives in total 4 times 13, 52 cards in total. Now, every time we have a counting problem, we should always ask ourselves the two fundamental questions. Is the selection of these objects, in our case cards, done with or without replacement? Obviously, in this case, it is without replacement, right? Once you're dealt a card, it's out of the deck. You can't be dealt it again. So we have a selection without replacement. And is the selection ordered or unordered? Well, if I give you a king of hearts, then a jack of clubs, or flip the order, a jack of clubs, then a queen of hearts, that's the same hand, at least for two cards. So clearly here we have a selection that is unordered without replacement. So in counting the possible hands of cards, we can use combinations. In general, N, C, R, the total number of ways of selecting R elements from a set of N possible elements when the selection is done unordered without replacement. Now, just to remind ourselves, how many cards are there? 52. And if we are dealt five cards at random, how many hands of five cards are there in total? Well, this is out of 52 possible cards to choose from. We choose five at random. We are dealt five cards at random from the deck of 52 cards. And if you calculate this, we find a huge number of possible hands. It is exactly 2 million. 598,960. So the total number of possible hands of five cards is about 2.6 million. Huge number. Now in 9b, we're asking out of about 2.6 million distinct possible hands of five cards, how many of those have no pairs? And when we say no pairs, we're thinking really here of a hand of poker. We mean no pairs or anything stronger. So you could say, I have a quadruple and a fifth card. We're discounting those because that's stronger than no pairs. Here we're saying no pairs and nothing stronger. As always, if you're not sure how to count those elements in general directly, you can write down a specific such hand and then use the specific example to build the general setup. So if we have no pairs, let me write down here such a hand. So we have the first card, the second card, third card, fourth and fifth. So Let's build such a hand. Say we take as the first card here, the two of hearts.
Well, the next card can't be a 2, because that would give us a pair. So we have to choose now a card of a different kind. Say we have a jack, say of clubs. Well, the third card can't be a 2, that would give us a pair again, and can't be a jack. So we choose now a third different kind, let's say a 7, say a 7 of diamonds. Now for the th fourth card, it can't be a 2, nor a jack, nor a 7. Say it's a king. Could be a king of hearts again. And for the fifth card, well it can't be a 2, nor a jack, nor a 7, nor a king. Say we have an 8. And let's pick an 8 of spades. So here's one hand that contains no pairs or anything stronger. Well, let's go from this example. Here's one hand that fits this description to counting all such possible hands. Let's extract from the specific example the general setup. So what was our first choice, right? We chose initially the kind, and then we chose the suit. And notice that the suit here was irrelevant, right? If the jack was a jack of either hearts, diamonds, or spades, this would still be a valid hand with no pairs. So clearly here what really matters are the kinds that we are dealt. You say, okay, well to have no pairs, it means that we have to have five cards of a different kind. So how many kinds are there? Twos, threes, four, fives, up to aces. There are 13 different kinds. So out of 13 different kinds, we choose the five that we need. One, two, three, four, five. And again, we're using combinations. Clearly here, this is unordered. If I swap the two and the jacks, that still is a valid hand with no pairs. It still is the same hand, right? If I order my two and my jacks differently, or any other such uh, two cards, it's still fundamentally the same hand of five cards. So now we've chosen. It's also, of course, without replacement, right? As we've already said, once a hand is dealt from the deck, it can be chosen again. So there are 13 choose five ways of obtaining five cards of a different kind. But that's not all, right? All we have now are the kinds. We say we've chosen the five kinds, so we know we have a two, jack, seven, king, and eight, but what is the suit for each of the five cards? Well, let's look for each one. So, and, we have to choose the suit of the first kind. Well, the two could be a two of hearts, or spades, uh, or diamonds, or clubs, or spades. So there are four possibilities, or if you prefer four, choose one, for the choice of the suit of the first card. So four, choose one, or again, simply four. Now we've chosen the suit of the first card, and we have to choose the suit of the second card. Well, the same argument. And how many ways can we choose a jack from four jacks? There are four possibilities. You can again write four or four choose one, same thing. Now we've chosen the suit for the second card. And we have to choose the suit of the third card. How many sevens can we choose from? Again, the same argument. There are four possibilities for the seven. Out of the four available sevens, we choose one. Same argument for the fourth card. We have to choose the suit of the king. Four kings to choose from. We choose one, four choose one, again, which is four. And finally, what is the suit of our last card, the eight? Again, there are four suits to choose from, four distinct eights, four possibilities. Out of the four eights, we choose one. And now we have counted all possibilities. We first chosen the five different kinds for the cards, but then we have to choose which suit for each card. Four possibilities for the first suit, four for the second, four for the third, four for the fourth, and four for the fifth. We can of course now write this more concisely. 
as 13 choose 5. This number multiplied by itself 5 times. 4 choose 1 to the 5. We can even simplify further. We've just said 4 choose 1 is obviously 4. So 13 choose 5. 4 to the 5. And if you use your calculator to calculate 13 choose 5 times 4 to the 5, you will obtain 1 million 317,888. Pretty large number. So out of a total number of possible hands of five cards, which is 2,598,960, out of those possible hands of five cards, exactly 1,317,888 consists of no pairs or anything stronger 